Hello and welcome to Esports Racing Academy. We are trying to provide you with tutorials, coaching and setups so you can improve. My name is Alexander Abedi. I'm a sim driver on iRacing. Currently I am in the Rallycross Series C and B ranked number one, which I think will probably change by the end of the season. But we are analyzing a lap of World Championship driver Luis Nunez, who is maybe the best in the world. And he's driving the Beetle Light in Daytona short. And we will analyze his lap, which was crazy fast. He had a lap time of 34.2. This is like, I've never seen a fast lap time like this in the official series. When you can get to the 35 lap, that will be considered very fast and you will be competitive with about like anyone. 34 is for the pros, it's really hard to get, but it's doable as you can see and uh, we will watch the lap uh, now. Well, that was very fast. So, let's get over the lap. The first thing, and this is very important to, to enter the lap, is this yellow curb. You will have to get your left tires on it, like in Lewis did here. Here. When we get the left tires on this curb, it will help the car to get into, the, uh, to get in turn, into turn one to the right side. So, as soon as we get to this part, let's watch from cockpit. You see, as um, when you enter T1, you slightly go on the brake, like this. Yeah, here we go on the, on the, on the brake very slightly and hit the throttle again and we need to get uh, as close to this wall as we can and hit uh, the grass this is very important as close as we can get to this wall our lap time will be faster Look, look, look at this. This is unbelievable how he managed that without touching it. He did not touch it. It was clean. Didn't didn't have contact. The, the lap would have been valid. But it was unbelievable close. Yeah, you will need uh, to get close to this wall. And then you have to set up for this uh, left-hander and get on this curb here. Perfectly, perfectly done. Get on the get on this curb. Don't hit this this white stone. Get on the blue curb. You will kind of have to uh, steer to the left very quickly. You don't need to brake. You just have to be careful with the throttle, not to over overcook this uh, this corner and to set up for the jump. You will have to touch this curb. This will help uh, to rotate the car. You can stay in fifth gear the whole time. Yes, and when we go to the to the jump, the 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 most uh, difficult part of the whole uh, track is coming now. We have to uh, set the car. To, to land 
so that we face the left side for the for the corner. As you can see, this uh, jump is slightly higher here. And if we hit uh, this section with our right tires, the car will uh, automatically rotate to the left side. And this opens up the corner very beautifully. We have to brake as soon as we are in the air. This will put the nose down and the car will land. And before we land, we have to throttle up. Uh, Louis also steer to the left as soon as he lands. And uh, yeah, this will cause a little understeer and the throttle uh, helps the car not to grip up so quickly because when the car tries to grip, it will throw you to the right side. And when you're on the right side, you can forget the next corner. It will be very bad. We now have to try to get to this curb. And this is very difficult because uh, obviously with a jump, you're always going to land on a slightly different spot. So you always have to improvise a little bit here. And yeah, we go for this curb now. We have to be very careful with the throttle. We can throttle up uh, a little bit before the curb. Actually, it's important to throttle up when we land to get speed, but we have to get on the, on the brakes again because now we have to slow down. We have to slow down, get a second gear to make the next transition to the tarmac, which is very difficult. But another very big problem is coming when we are going to the left. The car tries and uh, many, many of you will have this problem <coughs> that when you come to this part, the car wants to go to the left. And yeah, when this happens, you go here and, <laughs> and your lap is ruined, your race is, uh, yeah, you lose position and it's, it's very bad when this happens. So we have to control the car. As soon as you feel like the, the, all the, the weight is, is, is uh, pushing you to the left side, counter steer counter steer counter steer so to use all this weight uh, transfer all the weight to get to to the right side um, brake slightly not too much because this will lock up your steers uh, this will lock up your tires and when this happens uh, you you won't make the the right uh, uh, turn here again so you have to be careful with the brake but you need to uh, get rid of speed as much as you can obviously because we now have to come to second gear and now we must make this um, transition without wheel spin let's watch it in slow motion yeah third gear second gear brake 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 slightly go on the gas yeah we hit the throttle ever so slightly here and when the car grips up we go full throttle Watch it now in full speed. As you can hear, that was uh, nearly no wheel spin at all. Wheel spin in this section, yeah, will cost a lot of time. A half a second, it, it can add to your lap time easily. We should avoid this curb. I would avoid it because it, the, a little bit is, would be fine, but not too much because the car will go up and you will lose time. And if you come from the outside, this will cost a lot of time too. The way Lewis did it was perfect. Try to stay close, but not get on the curb, not get outside and be careful with the throttle. I think um, this section is a lot, needs a lot of practice and you have to get the feeling for when you turn to the right how the car will react and with practice you will get it done and it feels awesome when you get it right it feels very good <laughs> it's satisfying when you get it right now in the next part we can go now full throttle to fourth gear and here we have to brake again like i think yeah exactly here here we have to get on the brakes, trail brake. 
until this corner, this edge of the this edge. When you reach this edge, we can throttle up again. Yeah, here. Obviously, no wheel spin. We should avoid wheel spin as much as we can. Get as close to this wall as you can. Because that, um, I mean, if you are fast, if you go on the throttle on the right point, it will automatically push you to this wall. But you, of course, you should not uh, <laughs> touch this wall. It will break the car. It's, and it happens a lot. This wall and this wall over here is like where everybody have, has problems. You will see it in nearly every race where people crash into these walls to just destroy their cars. So we go full throttle and try to stay as close to those walls, to this wall again. We can get on this yellow curb and get close to this wall, not touching. Oh, that was beautiful. And when we reach, it's about here. Before this IRX marker, we get on the brakes. Here. It's here. Where we have to brake. And we go uh, into third gear, slowly. Before three. Right before this curb, we go to three. We turn in. And we throttle up. And it's very important not to have wheel spin. Like you can watch him, you can watch his uh, throttle input, how he goes as soon as he hits the, his, the before in front of this uh, yellow curb, he goes on the throttle, but not full throttle, he waits, he waits, he waits, and he goes full throttle. He goes to fourth gear and fifth gear, and he goes on this yellow curb to open up the entry for the next lap. Yeah, this is a lap in Daytona Short with the Beetle Light. Uh, I hope uh, you could use some of this information here. Uh, check out our Discord server, which is in the description box below. Uh, you can get in touch with us, get coaching from uh, Louis, uh, you can get setups. And yeah, I hope I see you in the next video for the next track and the next car. See you.